continuing down the vein of monitor mixing, let's look at the four modes in which you can send from an input to an aux. They are pre-fader, or right, I should say, they, first of all, they are input, which is right off the preamp, then pre-fader, which is post-processing before the fader, then there's post-fader, which is the other side of the fader, so if you have the volume up on the fader, the, it gets louder in the mix. If you bring the fader down, it gets quieter in the mix. And then the last one is PSP, is what they call it, post-fader, post-panner. So if you pan something left in the house, it's gonna go there in the ears as well. By default, I'd say 95, probably more than 95% of the inputs in your LV1 default show file template are in pre-mode. So that way, um, if you're moving faders around on the house side, because we're using the same input for house and ears, if you're moving uh, the fader, we don't want that to impact what's happening to the musicians. We want them to basically set it and not have it impacted by what the engineer is doing. So that we use them in pre. The exception to that rule would be on the utility channels. Those utility channels would be things like um, uh, walk-in music, maybe pro presenter playback, um, talk mics or host mics, the handhelds, uh, the teacher mic. Those are things you don't want in pre. So if you ever have your band say, oh man, I heard the pastor singing the entire time. That means that your sends to your monitor packs are set to pre on your headset channel. You don't want that. You want those set to post so that when the engineer brings up the pastor's channel, now it turns on in the monitor packs or the host mics, walk-in music, things like that. You've also probably heard a story where somebody like through the first song, the band either had to stop or miraculously somehow played through the fact that they could hear Kesha blowing in their ears as they're trying to do Awesome God. It's it just a really interesting mashup in their ears, I'm sure. Not something we wanna have happen. So that's set to post instead of pre. So let's just look at what I'm talking about here real quick. We're looking at the channel window. All this purple is pre. If I tweak it or push it, I guess, you get to post. There's PST, so that's post fader. PSP, again, is that post fader, post panner. So you can see the panner now shows up. And then INP is input. So that's direct, basically think of it as like a direct out right off the preamp. So they each have a different color. So if you're not looking at this in channel mode, but you're looking at it in mixer mode, you can see here that these are purple. Again, we just saw in the previous window that purple means pre-fader. We talked about utility channels here. These are kind of orange or amber or brown, whatever kind of color shows up. Um, that means post. So I know that all these utility channels are set up as post. I can change it here. Um, I think if I toggle through, I can actually, which button is it here? You can actually move these little faders here um, and you should be able to toggle through the colors there. I'm, I'm pressing uh, my little square. So I think this is my control key and I'm cycling through just pressing the on and the, um, so control and then touching on, you can see it's cycling from input to pre to post to post panner. So it's kind of going through all those. So I'm gonna leave that on post. So there's different ways to kind of get there. Um, a little Easter egg, you heard me saying I was pressing my square. We talked about that in a video where you can set these up to be one thing. So this is the, my control key this is my alt key. Um, I noticed as we were shooting this video back in channel, my kick in from another video, I had my, uh, I'd, I'd taken my kick drum off center. Let's say you got something off center and I'm kind of notorious for wanting things really particular and straight. So it's like, okay, if I, I can work all day trying to get this thing back to unity. And even though it looks like it's a unity, it still says it's negative 1.2. Well, that's going to bother me if I know that. So I can just click on, um, alt and then click this. So it was kind of off. If I click alt and click it, it snaps back to center. So you can do the faders with encoders. You can snap to Unity or their, their kind of their home default position. If you just click Alt, either on the screen or on, um, uh, on a keyboard or on, on the LV1 controller, you can get there. So that's a little overview in terms of the four uh, pickoff points to your auxes.